but hello everybody um, just doing a, short, a quick short video to, to show you my uh, fruit press that I made because it's going to be for sale on eBay so I just thought I'd show you a bit about it um, all handmade uh, out of uh, wood and stainless steel um, it's got a bit of a, uh, a quirk to it which I made made things a bit easier um, just to show you size wise it's approximately 20 inches wide up to up it's approximately 22 inches tall and deep of course it's about 24 uh, inches so uh, I mean with the height with the wheel on the top it's going to be a bit more everything's all bolted they all come together uh, these all bolt all the way through that comes out uh, same on this side that comes out this post comes out same this one comes out and this is separate from these two so they can all be packed away a nice uh, nice and easily easy to put together leave these bolts in and uh, stick them up then these will come apart then all you do is put the bolts through tighten them all up and uh, all done all good strong sturdy uh, construction wood so uh, it's all treated and I'll put a preservative on it as well just to uh, keep it nice and uh, uh, free from any too much stains and everything else whatever you're going to use it for have used this many times now um, for making cider uh, perry repairs and all that um, but I'm not ready to be using it anymore so uh, it's a case of see if I can set up somebody else can make good use of it it's a one-off complete one-off because of the uh, what I've done to it right as I was saying uh, all handmade base um, formed by myself um, took quite a bit of doing uh, but uh, yeah that just sits over on the top like that there we go we have the, the mesh on here for where the juice that comes out whatever you want to use for it's got lugs on the inside which that sits it stops it from moving about too far that sits on the top there right for the main part of it we have this it's big stainless steel wheel and I have my uh, bracket for it as well which sits on top so I'll just put it on there, bear with me because it is quite heavy line up the holes, once it's in, there we go She's in. That one sits down there as well. On there. What you've got to do, just to line up, because I tapped it earlier. There we go. That lines up there nicely. On there. And what you have is another bolt on the back on the end. Once you've got these lined up, I haven't tightened them all the bolts up. This is just for showing you. So once they're all tightened up, they won't move. This does actually go in a little bit easier. There we go. That's in. There we go. And then the other side goes on. That's it. Right. That's solid. That isn't going to go nowhere. Uh, what you have to do is put your pulp, of course, in there. Um, before you're done, this will tip up and flip over this side, which so it leaves it in place. And then put the pulp and everything else inside there. You've then got a plate which I made up, which then sits on top of the pulp on the inside. So that sits on the top there like that. That then is what you use to press down the pulp. And then what you do is you wind, wind this down. Once it gets on top of the plate, you can then turn the wheel. Whichever way, that way. Turn the wheel. That on there. Just keep turning the wheel. This, once it gets pressure on there, will actually hold so you can do the wheel and that'll press down. Then you might need, when it gets so far, spin it back up again, put some probably some other pieces of wood if you want underneath it. That will then give you that much more space so you can then press down a little bit more. So then it makes it uh, uh, you get more juice out of it. Quite effective, it's really good. Uh, because of how I was, I bought something a little bit different. So 
this works, see how you get on. Right, we'll lay this one out again. And this is what makes this one a little bit different to other ones. They're nice and easy. Is that is down there? You're having a, a new adaption to it, which I made up. Which is this? It's automatic. Which is a bit more refined to that bit which I used, which is a lot better. This. Uh, I'll put up this on the back there. It all comes on there. It's all again, all stainless steel. This then comes up, sits on the top. So that way you can put your pulp and everything else, put your plate in. That will then sit on the top there nicely and uh, you can pull it back out again. So it's nice and easy to work and to do with. That then sits on the top there just so it doesn't go too far. Just a couple of stays. Makes it easier to put this in as well, which makes it a lot easier, a little bit easier than the other one. And uh, that's it, it's on. As easy as that. So, like I say, when you want to change, put new pulp in, you just undo this again. It doesn't have to be mega tight. And then you just lift up, put on, done, put it back out again. Put it all back in, there you go. Easy as that. Put that in there as well. What I've done. Well, I've got an adapter which goes on the bottom. That threads up in there. We then got different tubes, which that's your main plate, which with this sits on the top there. That pushes your pulp bag down. What happens is that slides on there. That slides on there. That then gives you your bigger stroke going down. When you get further down, take that off and put the bigger one on. And it slides on, goes under. That gives you extra push for getting more juice out. So that makes it easier, a bit more adaptable. Got one here, just made it a little bit longer, but that's just something I'll chuck in. But these two work on there. Uh, just connect it up. As I said, it's pneumatic. Put that on there. Just to show you, I've throttled it back on here, so the airflow which comes down is gradual because you don't want to be a big force coming down and pushing all the uh, juice out and putting all the force in one go. So it just it's gradual down, up is quick because basically you want to be quick at changing everything. You don't want to be hanging about. But once again, slow down. Puts down there. Depends on what you want to do on your compressor. It's about eight bar. Uh, pressure I'm using on here at the moment, which, does, um, which works, and that's the, the stroke length, which on there, which is plenty enough. With these two adapters, you'll get everything out of there, where you, what you want. And you can leave it down under pressure for five minutes if you want, ten minutes, whatever you like, so you get maximum amount of uh, juice out of it. And then leave again, up, comes up again, all blows out of there. So uh, nice and easy. Um, you can adapt the throttle if you want to go quicker, just on here, if you want to go up and down anymore, um, sort of, let's say it's up and down. Again, it goes down, so much quicker doing it this way than with the wheel, but um, hence why I made it this way, it just makes it a little bit easier. And uh, up again, as long as you've got a good air, air uh, pressure in that in your tank, uh, that'll just keep going up and down. And uh, yeah, everything's clean, it's all stainless fused, all stainless fittings, everything else on here. This lead is mine. Um, I'll be keeping that because I do use it for my other air tools and everything else. So what you'll be getting is the whole unit on here. Be getting all this. What you'll need to do it. Uh, what you will need. I'll see if I can find one uh, and adapter on here. But you can get them online. They're cheap enough. And these leads, yeah, they're cheap enough online as well. So, uh, but it's just the main body. What you're getting a one-off, handmade wood stainless steel fruit press. Nobody else is going to have one because nobody else is going to probably make one like this. But um, it works a treat, it's worked for us. We've got, you had gallons and gallons of uh, cider and perry out of this, and it's still clean. We keep it clean, it's stored dry. As long as you keep everything, all the wood, as long as you dry it all out, uh, if you've got juice and wiped it down, sanitize it, um, you won't get no mold and that, store it dry, 